Nelson Holikaka Mandela, 1918-2013 to Well, unlike other people who chose to go to Vilgazi Street or even Houghton or even, you know, the Nelson Mandela Foundation or the Union Buildings, uh, I chose to stay at home. Uh, I tend to do that when I get news of somebody passing and I, I watched a lot of the coverage on um, on TV, I, I, you know, the international news channels, the local as well. Uh, and in between when I had to go out into the, you know, do some shopping or whatever, pick up the kids from school, then I'd obviously listen to 702. So that's how I kept in touch. Um, you know, I told myself I wasn't going to cry because, you know, we had that scare earlier in the year and all of that. But um, I think, while you know, when you watch uh, some of the interviews and even him and some of the things that he said and just what an incredible man he is, because I think his spirit lives with us. Um, yeah, I did shed a tear too. You, you, you can't help but, you know, it impacts you on such a pr profound level. Look, as a mark of respect for the man and the family and the nation, I think, you know, 702 uh, and 567 took the decision not to have solid gold this weekend. Uh, I think it's quite appropriate. So we had talk throughout the day, all the music shows were canned, uh, but I think pr management felt that after such a heavy day, in fact, two days really, if you think about Friday as well, we've had a lot of talk and a lot of uh, interviews and that kind of thing. So we decided to come up with a tribute show uh, where we play music um, like Lady Smith, Black Mombazo's uh, Shosha Loza or In the Living Years, Mike and the Mechanics. Just got an SMS here from Tony Scarb saying, uh, for the record, I never got to meet Madiba in the flesh in the living years. And for all of us who are not that blessed to have met him, I'd like you to play this song from Mike and the Mechanics. It is The Living Years. So we, we're entertaining our listeners' comments, both on SMS and phone calls, but at the same time, they request for songs that they like to dedicate to Mandela. Uh, we even played Celebration Cool and the Gang, because even in death, we as South Africans celebrate life, and we celebrate what Madiba brought to the mix and to this country, and what he gave us as a nation. So, you know, it's very positive, it's upbeat, and at times introspective with some of the songs, but uh, overall, it's just a way of us celebrating his life, and his legacy, and his legend. Yeah. <laughs>